boys and girls and everything else and welcome back to my channel in this video where we are going to talk about hair. Uh, this is a subject that I have deliberately avoided on my channel because I am the worst with hair. Um, I pull my hair to the front, I'm looking in the viewfinder, for once I almost always have my hair just pulled back or pulled up or just pulled away from my face because I'm just not very good with hair and I don't like the way it feels when it's like all over the place. I always end up growing my hair so it's like it's like this long now and then I end up chopping it off after a while. I always do that and I'm feeling like now is like I reached the limit like how long can it get? I don't even like this so yeah, this is not my natural hair color. I have dyed my hair right now. It's bleached. I am like a dark, ashy blonde. In Sweden, we actually call it rodent blonde, <laughs> which is <sighs> not very flattering. But my hair does actually uh, get very blonde in the summer, though, if I don't dye my hair. But I have dyed my hair for a very long time. So yeah, that's basically it. I dye my hair myself. I do it at home. I go to the hairdresser like once a year just to cut up some, like cut off some and I sh probably should now as well because some of them are a bit dry. I'm gonna show you the products that I like. Like, if you are very good with hair, maybe you'll think that this is just basic but if you're like me and you don't really know much about hair at least I can tell you my favorites that I have found that I have found to be good inexpensive somewhat and fuss free because I need fuss free I need fuss free I normally say that I have two kinds of hairstyle and that is straight out of the shower straight because my hair is this straight this isn't flattened my hair is this straight and i just actually wash my hair so this is what it looks like when it just dried and then i have homeless bun that's what happens at day three with a lot of dry shampoo when i just cannot find the will to do anything with my hair let alone wash it let's be honest so i'll be honest i wash my hair once or twice a week and at that point it's like 75% dry shampoo so it's needed but I I don't have oily hair I have somewhat dry hair now that I've just recently bleached it but if I don't bleach it I will just have normal hair I have what they are called I have what they are called I have what's called typical Scandinavian hair which is very fine super silky straws strays strands hairs what do you call them? Hairs, uh, which are kind of hard to get like in an advanced bun or something if you don't use something texturizing. So I'm going to show you some of that as well. Let's start, let's start with the shampoo and conditioner. I know nothing about shampoo and conditioner. These are the Aussie Conditioner Miracle Moist and Shampoo Miracle Moist. I have chosen these for two reasons. Three reasons. First of all, they're very easy to get a hold of in Sweden. They're sold at Kicks. They're actually sold at my grocery store, and they're not that like they're expensive. They're not like super affordable, but they're pretty affordable. Uh, so those two reasons alone is enough for me to buy a shampoo, to be honest. And it works pretty good on my hair. Maybe that could be a reason as well. I mean, Miracle Moist. My hair feels good afterwards. But the thing that sold me. Oh come on. But the thing that sold me. Is the smell the smell of this series I don't know if this goes for all of their series but it's like childhood bubblegum and it smells so nice I could just stick this in my nose but it just gives me such I, I cannot help but to smile at the childhood nostalgia in the shower when using these. The smell is amazing. If you are into candy sweet smells and you would like to indulge in a smell like that when you're in the shower, do check out this series by Aussie. It's the smell is so amazing. So when I come out of the shower, sometimes I blow dry my hair, sometimes I don't. I don't blow dry my hair and just, you know, and comb it and have any special technique. No, I just stand with my head down and blow dry it. Nothing's gonna happen anyways. It's gonna end up straight whatever I do. 
that's the kind of hair I have. But I do use some heat protectant. Um, I do use this if I, if I flat dry it as well, because sometimes when I sleep when I have wet hair, because I do that sometimes because I'm so lazy, I'll have to flat iron it and then I use this one as well. Or I use this before I dry it with a hair dryer, which I most of the time do, but sometimes I'll just let it air dry because my hair is, like I said, the quality of the hairs are very thin, so it does air dry kind of quickly. This is the Tigi S Factor Flat Iron Shine Spray Heat Defender. And this one smells like watermelon or like tropical. The smell gets to me and it's a very fine mist and when you feel on the hair you feel like it's a bit you feel that shine thing and I feel like this works good on my hair. The mist is so fine and even so you really feel like you do coat your hair with just a couple of mists and that's what I need. I need something fuss free. And as you can see I've used quite a lot of this. This wasn't that affordable but it wasn't that expensive either and I've had this for years to be honest. So I think that was a very good purchase. Uh, and I also use a, it's a hair on it, a hair oil. This is the Moroccan oil uh, treatment. This is the light. I use the light one because I have such like I said, fine hair, um, so it doesn't weigh down my hair more because it doesn't need it. Sometimes I feel my hair is like, it's so straight, so it just like follows and just... I'm a dog, basically. Uh, so I don't need anything to weigh down my hair more than it's already weighed down. Uh, so I use this one in light. It smells very nice. I take two pumps and I rub them between my hands and then I just go through uh, like the lengths of the hair and try to get it in the tips um, at the ends as much as possible. And then when I feel like I got it throughout like my lengths and my tips, I just take whatever's left and just pull it over like the baby hairs or the hairs that are like broken and stick up. That's basically what I do. I do that after I blow dry my hair or if I wake up in the morning and uh, I just feel like it's a bit frizzy, I can also use some oil. And those are the basically the two products that I use every time that I've washed my hair. And then we come to the dry shampoos. Uh, these are my two favorite dry shampoos right now. This is just Batiste. This is a normal Batiste. When I had dark hair, I used the Batiste that has a dark tint. That works really good. What I like with Batiste, other than it's super affordable and it comes in a lot of different like scents, this is pink pineapple, which I, I mean, I'm so excited about that, is that this one actually does I spray this on and I leave it on for a couple of minutes to actually give the powder a chance to soak up the oils and then I go through with a brush and with my fingers just working it in so I can get rid of that white cast. Um, if you have dark hair you might need to get the one that's tinted, just letting you know. This one doesn't have any kind of hold or structure to it though, so this one I might use on like day two or day three when I still want to have my hair out and don't want to have it in a bun and I just want it to feel light and like newly washed. This one I will use when it's time to put the hair up. Because this one is the dry shampoo from Maria Nila. Maria Nila is a Swedish brand and I got this in PR from the PR firm that handles Maria Nila. And this is a cruelty free and vegan brand and it's made in Sweden. So I don't know if they ship anywhere else, but I will let you know that a dry shampoo with some hold is actually amazing if you want to do like a messy ponytail. This one is nice if you want to have your hair out. If you want to do a messy ponytail, I do recommend a dry shampoo with some texture in it. Because then you can really work it into your hair, create some texture like that. And then you can like just, I'm just looking in the viewfinder. You can pull it up into to a ponytail and you can just work it with the texture you have and then put up a ponytail. And you can also work in the lengths of the hair if you have a texture spring to make it look more um, look weird make it look more poofy and that is a good tip for me if you want to like not wash your hair and you want to have it up but you're afraid that the ponytail or the bun is going to look more 
mop, mop, mop. A texturizing dry shampoo is amazing for that. So let me talk about the last product here that is a newly found favorite and I got this sent me by L'Oreal Sweden and this is a product that I was interested in getting. Why is my hair looking weird all of a sudden? Because you tried to put it up, you stupid. stupid. And I got sent this by L'Oreal and I was actually looking at this in store and I was like, that seems like something for me. This is the L'Oreal Paris a new in style stylista hashtag bun. This is the bun gel spray. Mm, this is a you see the texture of this? It's like it's like a liquidy slimy gel. And this comes out in the sprayer. It's a super nice spray. It's not goopy in any way. It just comes out really nice and it really puts a nice mist in your hair. You don't get a goop anywhere. And this is like a collaboration. I think this is with... Who is this with? This is with this girl. I don't know who. I don't know who this is with because they made some kind of collaboration with some like creators or influencers and I don't know who this girl is but I'm guessing she has like a fashion or a hair Instagram and they all made different products to suit their needs and I got all of them sent to me and some of them are really nice but this one is so good this one gives your hair this is made for putting your hair up this, if you put this in your hair, you will not be able to have it down. Because this creates a beautiful, almost tacky, fluffy, voluminous structure in your hair that enables you to make buns that you never thought was possible. This is the, this is the messy bun savior for flat, sad hair like mine. This enables me to get those really fluffy, messy buns that stay up all day that I can really style because this one gives so much grip. And I have actually used this a bit and this is amazing if you want to have your hair up, you want to make a bun, but it's actually newly washed. Which happens to me a lot because I don't really like having my hair down. So this is so good for messy buns. This is so good for messy ponytail. I'm guessing that this would be so good as well if you use like clip-in ponytails or stuff like that. To get that grip and to get some kind of volume uh, when you put it up. Ugh, I just really love this product and I don't know if it's even sold in US. But if you see this in store... The, it's like a gel spray for texturizing, maybe other brands have it as well, and you need some structure and hold to your hair when you're putting it up, try it, because I was pleasantly surprised. It also smells very fresh, like fresh linen almost, and I like that. So yeah, I think that was everything for what I like to use for my hair. I don't use hairspray. The only time I use hairspray if, is if I curl my hair, but I curl my hair like twice a year to be honest. So if I curl my hair, I will use a hairspray and I will use a hairspray that has a bouncy like flexible hold. I will not use a super hold because if you use a super hold on your curls, they're gonna be crunchy and they're not gonna look nice. So try to use a light a hairspray that has a flexible hold if you want to spray your curls. And also try using something that is like water resistant. If you have natural like flat hair like me and you want to curl it, something that is like sweat and humidity like kind of battles that is really good because otherwise my hair just goes whoop in no time. And yeah, that was everything for this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down below. I read all of my comments and I try to answer as many of them as possible. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. I normally do makeup here on my channel. And yeah, I think that was everything. I will see you in my next video, which will be real soon. Bye!